I start with a very basic question, um, um, but a really sincere one, which is what exactly motivated you to start the Data Union for project? And I think the reason why I'm asking this is that it, it looks so ambitious. It is massively ambitious, uh, uh, and it was originally started as Data Union project as an idea that I have talked about with um, Simon Crabb and Amit Rai, Dr. Amit Rai, back in 2012-13. It was um, kind of right after um, Edward Snowden pushed out um, and leaked out all the information about surveillance and various uh, American and and UK based su surveillance of, of mass mass digital surveillance of population. And that at that time already kind of we were raw, we really, really freaked out about that situation. Um, and at the same time, working in the in the field of kind of uh, digital related arts and 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 design or computer related arts and design um we could already uh, um see the, the the move towards what is now known as surveillance capitalism so all these kind of data collecting platforms which were just so 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 deeply hidden but also really very obviously creating a complete asymmetry of power in between individual and the platforms whether they are uh, publicly run and owned or, or, or commercially or privately run and owned um, in both cases it was very obvious lack of uh, um, lack of equality, lack, lack of uh, 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 symmetry in the power. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, we started by discussing this and and kind of at, at the time already it, it was, um, uh, to all of us, it was really very obvious that, that this is not something that we can resolve on an individual level. That at, at that time there were already many different methods to kind of create um, sort of uh, um, certain layers of self-protection when engaging with digital world but but it was really very complicated complex to kind of uh, especially on the on a on an ordinary human being kind of level uh, somebody who is not crazy technical about it um, and and so we started thinking about what are the collective, uh, um, what is a possible collective response? And for the longest time, we were um, uh, discussing and thinking about various uh, various activities and kind of behavioral changes, which we called information tactics back back in the day, and kind of how you as a, as a, as a small group of people can come together and organize and kind of exchange. Uh, um, kind of, kind of start applying various practices to obfuscate, to kind of, to kind of uh, uh, um, uh, confuse the data collecting and data extraction platforms. So that was back in 2012, 13, 14, um, and then, uh, um, and then in 2018, I saw Stats Residences call. Uh, for for uh, proposals uh, for various IT projects, and I was uh, I found out that Decode project, um, uh, a very large EU funded project led by Francesca Bria, um, mm. was looking for artistic partners and uh, to kind of explore further and kind of uh, add a little more to what they're already doing. Uh, and I thought when I saw um, Dyne.org's proposal for an operating system, which is based on, on one hand, cryptographic set of, set of uh, 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 rules and also developments, but also is related to blockchain-based kind of decentralized, an attempt to decentralize and by, by decentralized, by, by using decentralized technologies, 
deal with, with the fact that we are now in the web point two in this centralized, completely centralized uh, uh, um, way in, the, in, in, in between uh, um, within which we kind of exchange uh, both communicate and exchange information about ourselves and, and, and do our daily lives. Um, so when I saw that, I thought that actually the technologies that they, that they are developing um, actually may be very interesting polygon for experimentation to see whether, whether the technologies that they are working with can become a sort of a, a foundation for uh, exploring data union. Uh, the idea. And so to acknowledge the earlier work on data union, I call this part of the work data union fork. Um, and um, yeah, that's, I suppose, a roundabout answer to your question. <laughs> Uh, no, no, it's uh, it's uh, very clear. The, the, the other question I have is that, do you think there is enough awareness or even interest about the way our data is exploited and, and more generally enough interest about data ownership? Because I have the feeling that, you know, people read about it in the newspaper, but in the end, they don't really care so much about having agency and control over the, their data. I'm not even sure this is something that is really well understood. Uh, and I have, uh, maybe I'm a bit cruel uh, towards uh, fellow citizens, but I have the feeling that for most people, they would rather keep enjoying the convenience that Google, that Amazon, that Facebook and, and other platforms are offer rather than, you know, spending time looking into the issue. <clears throat> yeah, well, I have, um, I have kind of, an, uh, um, I think that there is evidence to, to support both of, both of these positions. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've seen since 2012-13, I've seen definite increase in people's awareness um, uh, of, of all of these practices. Uh, there, there, there still has to be a lot of education done, and, and I salute all my you know, friends and colleagues out there. There are organizations who are with a long-term commitment um, to um kind of expose all of these practices such as tactical tech collective and uh privacy international and there are there are individual artists as well many many amazing projects uh um but there there still needs to be more and more more and more education obviously the like the legislation changes wouldn't have happened without some consistent education. So things like GDPR wouldn't have happened if, if there was no public debate about these things. So, so like a full, um, my, my uh, I suppose, um, position on this is that there has to be a long-term commitment to full education of, of, of um, uh, wider population uh, and simultaneously e combined with um, efforts in software development, efforts which are based on um, kind of, uh, uh, and, and within computer science, efforts which are based on ethical, uh, uh, development of ethical software and critical engagement with, with technologies. Um, as far as convenience is concerned, this is a tough one, simply because, you know, on one hand, you kind of uh, um, deal with um, exceptionally complex and, and hidden, deeply hidden by design almost, uh, practices. So people do have to invest a lot of time and energy to um, to be able to protect themselves and to kind of change their own um, uh, behavior. And so we just need to kind of uh, 
sit with it and continue uh, with full commitment to slowly but surely help people move from from known platforms which are known known uh, for for abuses and for data extraction you know you can now see so many examples like uh, whatsapp we, we we know all about the new introduction of whatsapp terms and conditions which are going to i think come to power tomorrow <clears throat> Excuse me. And so when there was the, the first time when they tried to introduce the, the new terms and conditions, an enormous wave of people have jumped across and um, went to use Signal, which is already a sign that people are uh, um, more and more prepared on one hand to move from one platform to another. And on the other hand, there's there's more and more platforms which enable uh, you to use the internet in the way um, that we are so used to by now, uh, in a way that it doesn't really go against your, um, uh, not only right to privacy, but also the, the, the consequences of data extraction, the consequences on your, on your life, on your freedoms, on your um, peace of mind, I guess. I think uh, this is really, a, for me, it's a wonderful answer because I had the feeling, you know, oh, you know, I'm in my little bubble. I'm in contact with all these really wonderful, very critical artists. And I, because I tend to be very lazy, you know, I tend to go for convenience. And if I didn't, you know, if, it, if I was not so much in contact with the work that you do and that other artists do, if I didn't have my boyfriend constantly telling me, Regine, you're crazy, you should... Um, <laughs> So, yeah, um, um, I think you gave, um, you kind of balanced a, a bit the quite dark vision I had on, on the problem. So, yeah, thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have one last question, which is about um, the workshops, because I know they play an important role in, in Data Union Fork, and I think it's important for you to get really this direct involvement of, of, of people participate to this workshop. Um, so I read in the description of one of your workshops that the participants are invited to explore, and I'm going to quote you, collective bargaining in the labor union tradition through word and image example mapping, which is a subverted software design methodology. Um, so that sounds a bit complicated to me. So yeah. could you explain these ideas a bit and what this bargaining consists of exactly? Okay, so uh, f well, first of all, example mapping is the subverted software design methodology. So, or, or, or maybe user experience okay. uh, design and, and, and design methodology. Um, and uh, when, when I was um, researching and develop, de developing the whole data union fork, um, I kept on feeling really strongly about particip participation or general public participation because I didn't feel or didn't think it's, it's, it's useful to pursue my my single single kind of angle uh, um, in in the development uh, of the project. I really wanted a pub publicly public discussion about what is um, what can we do about all of the all of the issues that we are faced with in in relation to personal data, and so. Because it was uh, uh, um, based on this labor union tradition, the whole idea, uh, as as um, as people from from Dine.org would say, a well tried social method. Uh, so I went back to studying the procedures of how do you uh, unionize, uh, how do you organize the group. Um, and what do you do when you are, uh, reach the point of having to enter some kind of negotiation with, in the, in the context of labor unions, you, you go into negotiation with, with a labor provider, with the employer. Um, and in this case, uh, this was an open question. Who do you uh, 
uh, enter into negotiation with, uh, it was as important question as what collective bargaining is. Um, or what is example mapping, all of these things. So collective bargaining and example mapping were ways to really open up the questions of how do we engage with big platform uh, uh, data extraction? Um, are there any points of contact there? Uh, or do we do we choose and uh, um, kind of uh, uh, deliberately reject interaction with big big te techno technological mm. firms and all that sort of stuff, but go straight to developers, software developers, and talk to them and kind of try and negotiate with them? Or do we go to uh, data brokers and and negotiate with them? Or do we go to legislators, to, to politicians who are then able to, or in position, to create policies which are then going to impact uh, how how uh, these practices are conduct conducted uh, so it was it was a method for opening up uh, and studying the situation kind of identifying who could be your target um, and in and in the case of for example there were there were many cases obviously people feel familiar with with Facebook and there was that was one of the examples that people brought up. Then there was an example of um, 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 public transportation with all these digital cards that we are using, these RFID cards that we are using. Mm -hmm. People can be constantly obviously tracked where, where, where they travel, how they travel and da 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 da. da. Uh, so there were there were conversations about how would you you know, engage in conversation with the public tr transport provider and negotiate. Do you negotiate? You know, so so not just kind of taking for granted that that data union folks now D -d 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 is going to uh, resolve all your problems, but really question, do we need collective action? Do we not need collective action? And then try to put this on paper in a way that is, I mean, I was using this word and image of example mapping because I wanted to leave as much space as possible for people to choose their own way of interacting with it in, in the way that feels comfortable uh, to them and it, in, in a way that can propel this conversation and, and, and questioning further and deeper.